Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lutachi Vanessa. I am... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> yes, my name is Lutachi Vanessa. I'm a new mom. I am just experiencing motherhood for the first time. Um, I'm also... What am I? I'm also a career girl and a Nigerian living in Canada but that's not the point of this video today's video I have a special guest here and from the title of this video you can you can already imagine who I have here so today's video I have a special guest here who is none other than my mother so she's here today on my channel to grace this channel with her presence basically but before I continue let me just introduce my special guest none other than the only glamour in Nigeria the only glam mother in the world the my like the best friend a girl can ask for the mother to so many and like I said oddly dimma so this is my mom hi how are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm Lotachi's mom. Mm -hmm. So mommy, welcome to my channel again. So this is not my mom's first time of being on this channel. She's been here a couple of times. But today's own is special. As you can see, we are we are wearing Anko. Yes. So this one is special. Mm -hmm. But yeah, today's video we're basically going through Omugwa. So if you don't know, and if you haven't watched my other videos, please go and watch my other videos. But I had a baby about four and a half almost five months ago and my mom came two weeks before i had the baby she came from yeah, nigeria to canada and she's been here um for how many months now five months she's been here for five Since months January. so she's you know <laughs> there's just so much that I had to do with omugo that me i did not understand and honestly i'm so lucky and so grateful that i could have my mom here with me to go through everything with me even to stay up until this point it is not it's not my my it you, you don't it, it doesn't happen like that for everyone so mommy thank you <laughs> i have a number of questions because i know that from your wealth of experience the way you did omugo like us that were new first time moms there are certain things that my mom would tell me i will fight her even me and my husband will say no according to world health <laughs> organization it's not like that according to google it's not like that but honestly there's wisdom and there's a reason why the Igbo people did omugo there are certain things that they that we do that might not be recommended but works so yes that's why she's here she's here to answer a few questions so mommy you no, know, i try we're well, working with time so yes. just answer quickly but don't um, okay. panic or anything so number one is what is omugo because me i felt omugo was just mother coming to the house but actually there's a deeper meaning of omugo in in, in, in Igbo language so in Igbo tradition mm -hmm. omugo is meant for only women mothers or those that are not mothers but they can come and help it virtually means when a woman gives birth there is something called ungo you know after giving birth she has a lot of uh, um, blood other things coming out of her her baby has come out and everything we need to cleanse help her cleanse help her prepare her back to um, womanhood again so that her the place the baby came out from will go back to normal okay so mommy um in Omu, uh, um from what you said now is it only mothers that attend in in Igbo land that come for omugo of their daughters but like for your son now like my like my, my mm. brother would you go for omugo for him traditionally mm -hmm. omugo is meant for mothers i mean mothers especially mothers of the lady that has given birth okay so it's not whereby the mothers of the lady that has given birth is not available the mother of her husband can oh. substitute but if the both of them are alive the mother of the girl will go first after staying for the period of omugwa which is 36 days by Igbo tradition nine weeks nine Igbo weeks after staying for that long the mother will go and the mother of the boy can come uh, the mother of the 
a husband coming is just to see the baby to celebrate with them and not for the omogo properly mm, yeah. yes okay that's interesting um i also think that you know you, in Igbo land is my mom that has to come because you know with your mom you can fight like we fought many times we disagreed yes. but uh, you understand ourselves or well, mm, if it was like let's let say, me take it off from there like the mother of the girl we gel well with the girl the lady that has given birth mm -hmm. two of them can do things together you know uh, these gen z children and uh, the millennial <laughs> children if you tell them this is the way to do it so no don't do it this way but you can still put your feet down because you have done it severally mm. so that there won't be any mistake yeah. so it is good for the mother of the girl to be there for the girl but if it is the mother of the, uh, the boy. boy coming for the girl the girl might think that she's enforcing herself on mm. her you know and a lot of things yeah jack i can just speak from experience like i know that we had a lot of friction or so many things so many things she give me advice i'll be feeling bad and as a new mom you know you're feeling like maybe i'm not doing enough why is she saying i'm she, she's telling me this thing but she's telling it from a place of love or maybe my insecurities then were playing on me so i can't imagine if it was like maybe my my mother-in-law or my sister-in-laws that have come i know they mean well but naturally as a woman you would just think that everyone is trying to fight mm -hmm. you and living in the same house for this long i uh, would have would have severed a lot of relationships mm -hmm. you know, because it's my mom we'll make up we'll fight we'll quarrel we'll disagree mm -hmm. she'll be angry but in the end we all know that ah, i is my mother so mm -hmm. we can fight i can argue with her and then nothing happens mm -hmm. so yeah anyway so um just very quickly, do you think omugo, because I had a C-section, do you think omugo is different when you have a C-section compared to vaginal birth? Because all these things you were mm. speaking about, cis birth, well, um, cis, what do you call it? C-section. No, that thing, cis birth. Cis birth, cis birth yeah. Okay. I didn't do that and everything. So Well, mm. this question come, is, is handy because a lot of people think um, vaginal birth is so different from the C-section. It actually, it, it is the one that works for you. The vaginal bath, the labor and everything. Like I went through labor four times and I had one CS. So I can talk from a point of experience. Number one, the vaginal bath is a whole lot of labor. When you eventually push the baby out, the whole thing, you may have tear. You, the baby may tear you or the hospital the nurses the midwife may give a tear so that the baby can pull through and once the baby pulls through that particular mm -hmm. tear should be able to heal mm -hmm. it's either by giving a, a a stitch or two or by doing that uh, cis bath but for six session the when, once the c-section is done well from the hospital and you avoid eating you just start eating by the time you pass out gas you start sipping tea and pap called a camel and other things you start eating small small they will make you to walk and when you start walking upright you just notice blood coming out that is the ngo that is the blood after bed uh, postpartum bleeding you notice it after a few days your breast may not run even in vagina bath mm. so you young girls when you give birth you worry yourself like my daughter was so worried crying her breast your breast can take up to three weeks before it start running because i did a c-section no it's not because of c-section it all depends on the nature mm. your body has to accept that baby has come out and your baby has to adjust it takes up to three weeks in some people it takes up to two weeks it's not your own making it's different. different because if you push out the baby you may have one or two tears but in c-section the baby didn't come out vaginally so you just need to that place the bandage on your stomach you just need to protect it with towel so that water won't pour on it mm -hmm. so the omugwa for the vaginal um, bath is for you to sit down on the cis bath what i mean by cis bath you get a bucket that has a wide opening pour hot water and pour salt and make the lady that has the baby to 
sit on it because so that the yes, steam, do that. steam will go into her to help her vagina heal on time. But for CS, you don't do that. You don't do all those so things. So will you say that Omugo for... Okay, anyways, you've not gone for Omugo for... Omugo. Will you say Omugo for CS is easier than Omugo for... It's vagina? just the same thing. The only thing is just the seas bath. The seas bath it out of the way. The pressing of hot water by some on the stomach is out of the way because there is a cut on the stomach for the CS. But for the vagina bath, the stomach is there. And the tying of the stomach for the vagina bath cannot be done for the CS because mm -hmm. you know already there is a cut. There's a cut. Yes. Okay, so um, so you know how we always argue, like you tell me, Lutachi, do it this one or do this one or do mm -hmm. this to the baby and I'll tell you, mommy, I googled it. Google said we should not do it. So there's, we had so many different um, mm. contradictory opinions from giving the baby um, pain medication to colic, how to solve colic problem, to giving gripe water. So everything, you no, know, I was me and Google, well, it was me, Google against mm. my mom. Anyway. But let me just ask you. Yeah, so from now that you've stayed and we fought all the fights, is there anything that you say you, is new that you feel is a good tip that you've learned from, from the Google? No, from like all the things we've Googled that you say, I know there's, you know, we have the traditional way of mm -hmm. doing things, which mm -hmm. I respect now. But from you, from your own end, is there anything that you look at towards the new school of parenting that you say, oh, it's a it's a good one okay. like the baby will do it be doing a lot of hiccup what my mother taught me was when the baby is doing the hiccup you just place a little thread whether white or any kind of thread on top of the baby's hair after some time it will go away but um when i did it for some time lotana googled and, and found out that the real gripe water is actually meant for hiccup the real gripe water is meant for hiccup. The gripe water is not for colic. There is this medicine you got for the colic. What's Infacol. The? Infacol is for. Enfacol. Okay. Enfacol is for colic for the stomach. But mm -hmm. all from my experience of five children by myself and other people that I used to do Omugo for, I now discover that um, this particular colic, what is called colic, you have to allow it to take the course take its cause. There's, there's no cure. There is no cure. We tried the infacol, we tried everything. We even tried the traditional one. They what said, is the traditional one we tried? They, That's what I wanted they to They said we that. should put um, a palm kernel oil and uh, some coconut oil on a, a on a handkerchief and heat it up a little and put it, not to burn the baby, put it on the baby's navel for a wear. It doesn't happen like that. And Uziza, we put Uziza in And Uziza, it doesn't happen. The only thing is that you check that some people have big navel, some people have small navel. And when the baby's umbilical cord falls out, you have to look out, check out whether the baby has a bit of the hernia. hernia. Mm -hmm. If the baby has it, the baby will take a longer time for the colic. Colic. So well, yes. what you learned now is that there's no there is no cure, for, no the cure colic. for colic. That you is my like own experience. Well, even when the baby's navel is big like that, at old age, maybe the when the baby is around twenty something, the baby might have mm -hmm. an operation. This one happened to me, my second son, when he was up up to twenty five, mm -hmm. he had an operation because his navel was big protruding those that have big protein when you touch it as if there's air inside so eventually you might look out to have a minor operation to correct it so i think also. for for me one thing that my mom did that i think was different from what world health organization suggested is my mom was like i can name this child water i don't know how to say it in evil but my mom was she kept saying right from when my baby was around three months she's like let's start giving him water <laughs> Or, or yeah, she'll be like, let's let's give him water. He needs to have water because then he will have a problem with burp, with burping. So we're not doctors or anything, but mommy, what really I think that um, even though I was still I'm still scared to do it once in a while because they said don't give your child water till six months. That's the World Health um, standard. 
but we realize that whenever he eats and then his fang is difficult to burp and you know the gas and the colic is disturbing him once we give him water he burps, he burps. so that is for us so that we do so yeah another thing is um according to google and the is it world health or the doctors you don't start solid till six months but even at four months now my mom is like even at three months she's like start giving him a um, what's the word start Akam. giving him a cam start giving him a uh, put small akam in his formula introduce food just put it on, put it on his mouth small let him taste it and i'm like no i don't want anything to happen to him <laughs> but like now like we've started just if you if we're eating we see sinobi doing this like you can see that he really wants to eat so we put small food in his mouth we've also started him because he's teething really bad we started, we started him on like teething um, crackers just so he, he just enjoys it so he's about he's almost five months now and we've kind of started solid so we, we're not saying that I'm not saying start um, giving in, in, introducing your baby to food by this time but for us we've seen that like he's taking it well and he's making him happier so we cannot really actually, wait to, tra to start um so when it comes to this colic when the baby is so colic like that so you just use syringe you know here they use syringe to introduce formula and other things just use syringe and take boiled water boiled cooled water mm -hmm. drop it on his this thing like 10 drops before you know it the baby will pop because and what colic are... means is actually gas, entrapped gas. So that is why when they say I don't give my baby water, I don't. And if you want to, I want to talk about breastfeeding here and the uh, formula feeding. If you know you want to do breastfeeding, you have to eat very well. Some breasts, they may run, they, you may try to express it, but the baby may not be able to take any, get anything from it because you are not eating, you are dieting, you are doing exercises and you shots, want to do fired. breastfeeding. You want to do exclusive breastfeeding. If you want to do exclusive breastfeeding, make sure you eat. Eat very well. Like in those days, they would do pandedian for you. Just sit back, consume it with uh, uzuza soup. Right now, these Gen Z children and millennial children, you can't even put the Gen Z, you can't even put uh, the uzuza. If you cook us, I say, what is this? It's bitter. I, I can't know, take I it. Didn't say that. They will take an egg and all the rest of Left it. Left to my mom, like when I had the baby, of course I, I didn't like it. In fact, I still don't like how my body is looking. My mom, like, Tachi, you need to eat. Early in the morning, she will make pounded yam. In the afternoon, rice and stew. Mid afternoon, pepper soup or something. In the night, another pounded yam. I'm like, then I come. I'm like, you can't be eating like this. Like she said, no, you have to eat like a gluten. So I know that fight is the one we fought. <laughs> and then I think she she left me after a while. Yes, she left, I me left to, her to uh, do whatever I want to do because I, I, I want to say eat like a gluten so yes. that you will breastfeed this child. Yes, I was another like, thing you we know what works for you for the breast to run. For me, what works for me is I come. It's native I can power. Also work I can works for her too. Some people is just lifting tea, tea. Mm -hmm. that works for them. Once you take it, after some time, your breast will engorge. Mm. So you need to find out what works. Yeah, for actually, you. oats oats actually worked for me, but I found out that oats has a lot of gas. I did not know this before. Oats has a lot of gas, so um, I've now tried to you know stop. Um, at that time when my baby was having colic i reduced it because i'll be gassy and he'll be a lot more gassy but the best will run so pap was the best we pap, pap is the best pap and again best. you should if your baby is so colicky like that you should reduce onions yes, garlic, garlic. Mm -hmm. onions garlic even another, tomato another thing we thought about because yes. i like spices. onions and garlic the spices are not good for mm -hmm. the colic yes okay okay so um, when we just before we finally go, what do you think are the key things you should have for Omugo when you're coming for Omugo? For people that don't know, what are the key things? The you key need? things you should bring for Omugo, you know, like this is a uh, um, abroad. If it is in Nigeria, let me say you the key things are ingredients for making soup, a goosey, or bono oil, palm oil, stock fish, so that's for abroad, dry fish, no, like, for Nigeria it's the same thing, mm -hmm. dry fish, stock fish, 
all food items especially those that like stock fish and dry fish and if it is in nigeria after the omugo the parents of the girl will bring things to come and see the girl officially they'll bring like goats they'll bring like uh, stock fish and other things the father the family a keg of palm oil and everything, palm wine, to come and see yes. the. I want yeah. came and my dad also brought yes. uh, what but, other, Okay, What other things do you say for Omugo, like key to Omugo now for the woman, for the process of the Omugo that you need to bring along? You need to bring Uziza, mm. all those Uziza, Puruma, Shosho, Uda, all those things, Pepe. So all those things that like uh, Otazi. Mm -hmm. Uh, Moziza leaves, you need to bring them so that you'll be doing the pepper soup. The woman actually needs a lot of pepper soup, watery, maybe tea, watery pepper soup, peppery pepper soup, so that the blood can flow out of her. How easily. about, um, you know, you forgot to mention um, the um, gentian, violet, udaki. Oh, so for the baby, once the baby is born, and the baby's uh, umbilical cord falls after one week. You need the gentian violet, the blue ink, to use cotton wool, cotton um, pad, and put it at the site of the umbilical cord, where the umbilicus is. Then for the um, circumcision, you need the, um, what's the name again? Ointment. You need, um, What's the name? Um, penicillin ointment. Penicillin ointment. Just be dabbing the penicillin. Once they do the circumcision today, whether it's plastic bell or ordinary, I said the udaki, the palm kernel, is handy because of convulsion. In case the baby starts convulsing, you have to apply the udaki. And you have to have your thermometer, check the temperature of the baby. Then I ha we will have to talk about um, immunization. Before you take the, your baby for immunization, you have to give the baby um, Tylenol or our paracetamol just before they, um, they give the okay. injections. Another thing that I'll say that my mom taught me, for me that I had a C-section, my mom would, um, she introduced hot water bottles. Yes. Yeah, because the weather is a bit cold mm -hmm. here. Apart from it being cold, because he was having colic, we'll use hot water bottles we'll and put water on water his bottles. bed before we lay him down, down. So, that, tummy. so that his tummy will be warm. And yes. they also put hot water bottles on his tummy too. It his makes lips. him warm. Also for me, she also tell, tells me to use hot water bottle on so my that stomach. So the blood can, can flow. flow. As well as to massage the the, the area of the the site of the um, scar. Even so if if it even if it is not the CS for vaginal back, you need that hot water bottle so that it will help. Yeah, massage it actually your it actually worked. It like worked. some people don't like uh, hot water um, massage, they can use hot water hot water bottle. Okay. It yeah. all depends on what works was, for you. Yeah, she also brought um, alcohol swabs. Alcohol swabs for the for the for the navel. Okay, for when the baby is born newly, you know the cut, the umbilical cord is cut. Mm -hmm. Like I cut my Sinobi's own. The little remaining one that is clipped, you, it, after every nappy change, you need to swab it with uh, alcohol swab. You need to clean it with alcohol swab until it falls out and when it and falls alcohol, out what do you do alcohol swab actually dries the umbilical oh, cord and when it falls out yeah i wanted to ask like so you know we use a lot of new school cream mm. we have shea butter of coconut oil but we have like the set up you have been no pseudo cream which of them would you say you've learned that ah this one is like the gang right now i think the set up feel I go. I will go for the setter few cream, setter few soap, any day, any time. So now he didn't have rashes till he got to four months. So yeah. when they change, he just has cream. rashes on his yes. neck. Yes, and when you change milk. cream, you have to see some reaction. And when you change formula, if you give your baby formula, so what formula would you? I love this formula. Was it? End family. End family is very good. Yeah. I love end family because right from when the baby was brought out from the theater. When the baby passed the meconium, the black stool, they started giving him Enfamil. And then he's still taking Enfamil to date. Okay. And he, he didn't react to it. Yeah. He goes to the toilet, he doesn't constipate him. So I recommend Enfamil. Another thing I'll just add here. 
because while she be short for time is that my mom has always said wash your baby's clothes separate from your clothes yes we use the washing machine but Sinobi's clothes they are they, wa- they are washed specially specially with a special soap so we don't mix our clothes and there's together. no need to we take the take baby to the, to the bathroom your own bathroom to bed the baby the baby doesn't have immunity you create a special place in Nigeria, you bed the baby in the room where the mother's, the grandmother stays. You bed the baby there. You don't need to take the baby to the bed top. The baby can get infection from the bed top. I'm a microbiologist. I'm a technologist. Your body is far immune than the baby's body. And over here, they're not taking BCG right now because abroad here, they don't take BCG. They start from diphtheria, tetanus, and polio. That's DPT. So, DPT 1, 2, 3, that's the immunization. So I will say that you bet the baby, try to secure the baby's immunity. Get a um, receiving cloth. When visitors come, give them the receiving cloth to receive your baby. Yes. Don't allow them to carry the baby with bare hand. One, two, Make them try and them. wash your clothes different from the baby's cloth. Wash it different. Whatever it will take it, if it take you more bills, it's okay. The baby will be alright. Like we have not experienced any kind of this until date. Yeah, just yes. to also mention, you know, we we try to change formula. We try similac, huh. and I think my baby reacted. What well, I'm not saying similac is bad though, but Enfamil is what we recommend. Enfamil. Um, Cetaphil is also very good. Good. Um, all Cetaphil products. Avino. You don't like Avino? No. Or Cetaphil is the best. No, she says Cetaphil. So works. whenever you have a change, if you are using Cetaphil and you change to Avino, you will have some reaction. If it's you are using Enfamil and you change to Similac, I, we fought okay. about that one. <laughs> we fought. I said, give this baby this Enfamil. The one they introduced to him from the mother's stomach, give it to him. Okay. So that is what he's taking today. Okay, mommy, so in your own words, so now I'm a bit independent because my mom will soon be going. I will soon be going. And right. um, in terms of, from your own assessment, this is me just asking for points. How will you rate me in terms of mother? Be very honest. As a new mother, how actually, will you rate me? Over, from 1 to 10. Okay. 1 to 10 being great. Actually, I say, for my daughter, Letachi, I initially I was afraid because I'm sure she has never attended to a newborn baby. Yes, Even when, when the elder sister had her baby, she wanted to give the baby formula. She eventually gave the baby hot formula and the baby actually almost passed out. So I was afraid. But right now, Lotachi is more than 10%. More than 10 over 10. She's 100% plus. She's even taking care of the baby more than myself. Virtually by two months, I said, come and take this baby, bed this baby, sleep with this baby, start learning because if I keep doing it. By the time I leave, it will be a problem. problem. So right now, she has gotten it, yeah. and I'm so happy that I'm, I'm living. Ten, I'm ten Thank over, you. I'm more than ten, ten over ten. Ten over hundred. ten. Ooh, looking like ten over ten plus ten minus nothing. <laughs> Add everything. That's me. Ten percent. Ten percent. Yes. Okay, so you people, um, I think I'll just um, end this video here. So, mommy, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. Like, I, thanks. I didn't know. <laughs> thanks a lot for being a mother, too. I didn't know that I could stay. Like, like sometimes, when, those times when we we'll fight, I didn't know if we'll, we'll ever recover. Like, sometimes <laughs> I'll have to tell mommy I'm sorry. Or we'll just have to overlook certain things. And some days when I'm tired, because my mom is getting old, like, you know, she used to sleep with the baby during that, those trying times those colicky periods and she'll sleep with him you know he wakes up almost four times in the night and she has to wake up and so i'll be upset that why is she not taking you know why is she not sleeping with him why will she come and wake me up when i give her she's not supposed to take care of the baby but i have to understand i wake her up to breastfeed yeah i have to understand mm-hmm. that how she's getting old so of course you guys be considerate and you know know all these things also you know me and my husband this is our first child we're very hands-on so if i ask my mom for her opinion my husband might have a different opinion so as a woman you that you're in the middle you have to know how to navigate it i'm just saying all this because i know it wasn't it wasn't it, it cannot be easy to come and stay for this long and omugwa is not supposed to be five no, months actually, right? st- how no, long is omugwa omugwa is just about um four Igbo weeks 36 Just days. 36 days. And but I have stayed, stayed five months. Long. But staying with them was it's it's fun. It's still fun because I never had any major issues 
Udoka is a very nice like, man. Uh, but we, the like, Tachi herself will not like agree. If I, I like tell her this, don't eat a lot of egg, it will affect you. If you don't do this, you'll be arguing. But I overlook her and do what I have to do. No, but to make sure that the baby for is For me, right. just taking from my end, you know, as human beings, you have to apply wisdom. Mm -hmm. Navigating both my husband's um, decisions and my mom's decisions it wasn't an easy one but i am really happy that she stayed and she doesn't have any we didn't um, have any problem any hard feelings mm. um so i just want to thank you thank you i'm happy much. we bonded like i don't think we've bonded this much <laughs> in our whole in, life in my whole life based <laughs> on we both like almost the same thing in terms of makeup hair fashion <laughs> i've introduced her to different things so thank you very much for everything Thing. thank you for staying thank, thank you. you for your sacrifices thank you for the sleepless night oh, me, i don't take it for granted though in thank fact you. i don't know how i'll survive when you go <laughs> you but, are going to survive but i know and I'll, be I'll, for I'll, your own children. I'll definitely miss you yes. so so much so yes. you guys thank you so mommy do you want to uh, out? thank you and i know now lota is just like a, she's a mother now and she can give advice on child yeah. circumcision yeah all those colleagues she can and I, I think she can write a whole script on yes. this because she has learned as, i made her go especially through especially the mental part i the made her go through it i made her go trauma. through it knowingly that after going through it she will be okay all right so thank you thank guys you. so much for everything thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you bye